Let's quickly cover seven common WordPress login issues. Number one, lost or forgotten password. From the login screen, simply click on lost your password. Put in your username or email address and WordPress will send you a link to set a new password. If for some reason you can't use this method, your next best option is to update your password directly in the database. Launch phpMyAdmin, locate your site's database, and open up the WP Users table. Now find your user, click Edit, and under the User Pass field, simply type in your new password in plain text. Now under Function, select MD5. Now scroll to the bottom and click Go. Your new password has now been set and you're all ready to go. If you're still unable to log in, then check out our blog post and video that covers more options. Number two, cash and cookies. I suggest you Google how to do it for your specific browser since the settings are a little bit different in each one. Number three, plugin interference. It's possible for a plugin to interfere with the login process. If for some reason you have access to your admin menu, then go ahead and deactivate each of your plugins. If you don't have access, you need to connect via FTP, go to your WP content folder and open the plugins folder. Now go through each plugin folder and rename it. That will disable each of them individually. Now try logging in. If it works, you've confirmed that a plugin is causing the issue and you could start enabling each plugin one by one until you find the culprit. Number four, theme interference. Similar to plugins, you could change the name of the folder for your active theme via FTP and WordPress will revert it to its default template. So open the themes folder, choose your active theme, change the name and try to log in now. If that did the trick, then that means you need to contact the creator of that theme for troubleshooting. Number five, corrupted login file. Your login page is located at wp-login.php, which is the name of its corresponding file. If WordPress can't find that file, then you won't be able to log in. To fix this, we'll need to replace the file with a brand new one. Step one, go to wordpress.org slash download to get the latest version of WordPress. Now take the WP login file from the new download and add it to your WordPress site. Then try logging in and see if that fixed the issue. Number six, redirected WordPress or site URL. The WordPress address URL identifies the location where WordPress is installed, while the site address URL identifies where your website should resolve. If either is wrong, it can result in WordPress login issues. Go to your root directory, find wp-config and open it up. We're going to add these two lines to our code. Be sure to change your WP home and WP site URL to what they should be. Once you've done that, go ahead and save your changes and upload that file back to your server. Try logging in now. And if you can, then you know that was the cause of your problem. Keep in mind that this is a temporary fix. For permanent solutions, head over to the codex. And finally, number seven, corrupted.htaccess file. The easiest way to fix a corrupted htaccess file is to replace the version on your server with a clean copy. If you've ever made any changes to your htaccess file, then this will get rid of those changes. Access your root directory and find the htaccess file and open it up in your code editor. Replace its code with this snippet, which can be found in the blog post linked in the video description. Now go ahead and save the changes and upload this back to your server. Then try logging into your website again and the issue should be resolved. And there you go. Those were seven common WordPress login issues and their solutions. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.